Hello. In this video, I want to talk briefly about alkynes as dienophiles in the diels alder reaction. In all of my videos up to this point, I've talked about alkenes as dienophiles, but it's worth noting that alkynes are also good uh, dienophiles for the diels alder reaction. I'm going to draw in the mechanism for the alkene version uh, as reference so that we can, can look at it. Drawing it counterclockwise this time. Okay. And then I'm gonna draw right on top, right below it, uh, the exact same mechanism with an alkyne. Uh, and, you know, so it's worth pointing out that it looks like the same thing's happening. Uh, what's very important Only one pi bond in the alkyne is reacting. We're drawing one arrow to one end of the alkyne. We're drawing another arrow from one of the pi bond. The other pi bond stays there, which means that the product of this reaction is a cyclohexane with two uh, alkenes in it. This is one four cyclohexadiene. Uh, and of course, other substituents are going to make this product more more complicated. Just like uh, in the case where um, in in with alkenes, that the reaction behaves better when there are electron withdrawing groups on it. The same is true with alkynes, an electron withdrawing group. Uh, so I guess I will use um, an ester. Let's let's draw an ester. Uh, today, I will use uh, this this methyl propiolate, and um, the reaction works much better with electron drawing groups. And uh, the big difference, however, is that because we now have a product you know with an alkene with another alkene in it, there's no stereochemistry here, so there's no stereo. You know, the having the alkyne makes the product have less stereochemistry, uh, more symmetry in it. And if you were to have two groups on the alkyne, you'd end up with with two two groups on the the product. So generally, this is an example of everything alkenes can do. Alkynes can do also. Um, the product looks a little different, and so there you go. Okay. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about regiochemical outcomes of the diels alder reaction. Um, this is starting to get into a little bit higher level than most undergraduate courses go, uh, but you know you can hang on for the ride, or you can skip right to the video on synthesis. Thank you for watching.